Hey guys, it's Deliberacy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm excited because I'm going to be checking out The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Create a Pet trailer for the first time, which just came out this morning and yay, I'm so excited. Hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of the world and obviously jump into Create a Pet, which I've already released a video on. I'm still excited to see how The Sims 4 team choose to present it and see if there's some extra things we can learn. Anyway, let's jump into it. In The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack, you can make the perfect companion for your Sims with the new Create-A-Pet tool. Choose a breed, give them distinct personalities, and make these cats and dogs your own. Welcome to Brindleton Bay, the new pet-friendly world in cats and dogs. Meet Jay and Kira. These newlyweds are ready for their first furry companion. Let's dive into Create-A-Pet. Start by choosing a cat or dog. Small dog, big dog. And a quick search. Golden Retriever. Aww. You can choose a tail, change their coats, patterns, fur length, and more. And for the first time ever, you can dress up your pets in the height of fashion and tasteful accessories. And just like in real life, cats and dogs are so much more than their pedigree. Giving them traits lets you choose how they will behave. Smart dogs will learn tricks and commands faster. A mischievous cat will find trouble in any home. There are many traits to choose from. Is your sim a music lover? Vogel pets will accompany your budding virtuoso. Let's give Lulu the friendly, playful, and active traits. She just can't wait to play fetch. Good girl. Meet Katarina. She's a totally normal cat person. And with only three cats, Mr. Bubblesworth, Lady Meowmore, and Charles. Charles? There's still plenty of room in this home for even more feline love. Let's create something more exotic. Use the breed mixer to play with genetics. You can modify a pet's face. Just push and pull. Shape their ears choose their eye colors, and even pick their whiskers. The new paint mode lets you create truly unique cats, dogs, kittens, and puppies. <gasps> Puppy! Go deeper with stamps and stencils to create a more fantastical companion and unleash your creativity. Aw, RGB Kitty is right at home here in Casa Caterina. Create the cats and dogs of your dreams and make your sim a best friend for life. All right, so I've just got to tell you guys straight off the bat, this trailer was really, really well done and really informative. I think this shows off Create a Pet and what you can do with it so well. There are even things that I picked up just then that I didn't actually realize when I had early access and hands-on. Let's go through the trailer right now and check out the finer details. All right, so first up, uh, we have the title screen that comes up and this is our first shot of Brindleton Bay, the new world. And you can see here there's Sims walk their dogs which is really really cool uh, and this is what I reacted to just before how cute this little dog is I think it's so adorable it's like <laughs> and you can see uh, that there's pets everywhere there's also a new fence new staircase uh, railing new pot plant type of thing and of course the new clothes I love these little cat shoes by the way I think they're really really cool and the dog walking sign is pretty cute. Um, but you can also see how your sims are interacting with the pets. Really lovely animations. Uh, there's a lot of emotion in these animations too. And just the way the pets kind of move around and flip and roll over. It's, it's been really, really well done. Uh, this is the world of Brindleton Bay. Let me just take this back just a notch. Uh, I love how they've done that kind of blend where it looks like it's going into daylight that's so nice um but yeah Brindleton Bay looks like a seaside town we've got a dock area here which is a little bit industrial but at the same time it's very uh it's got a real warm feeling about it and a lot of us were anticipating that it would be a little bit like Appaloosa Plains from The Sims 3 a little bit more widespread and more of a farming feel and like a sepia uh, coloring in the air I guess but this isn't anything like The Sims 3, which I think is good. Hopefully we'll get something like Appaloosa Plains later on, but I'm impressed with this. I really like it. And all of these houses look really cute. 
really, really cute. And there's like fairy lights and little tables you can sit at. It looks like the perfect place to kind of walk your pet down to the shoreline. It's really, really nice. And you can see here, that's exactly what they're showing. People walking their pets. New hair is gorgeous. You can see cats, like a cat just asleep on the footpath. Love this statue over here. But we can also see that cats are going to be interacting with the world around them and they're gonna be sitting on things, uh, which is really realistic. I love that. Love this couple, by the way. And pets are going to interact with each other. So that is definitely very realistic. Look at this guy. I think he, he looks like he's teaching his dog how to do something. Uh, and they did just say that smart pets are going to learn and be trained more easily. Um, adventurous pets might scratch things more, I think they said. I might have got that wrong though. I love this kind of overpass, how it's got a little bit of an incline. Looks really, really nice. Look at this little, little guy shaking the hand. It looks like a bumblebee tutu. Absolutely adorable. And check out this animation with the toddler in the background here. Really, really, really cute how the toddler's interacting with the pet. And then we jump into create a pet. So of course you can get any breed you want really. And if the breed you want isn't in there, you're likely going to be able to make a dog or cat look like the kind of breed that you want. So yeah, lots of different coats. You can change the muscle value or the, like the, how, cuddly or how thin the pet is <laughs> and then these are all the traits adventurous stubborn independent uh, and that's obviously gonna have some tailored animations to really make your pet traits come alive look at this I love this guy he's like sitting in his bachelor pad he looks really really wealthy and these cat ragdoll cats are like going crazy <laughs> well that's a ragdoll I think and he's like oh my gosh what is my life by the way, you guys, nice couches. I like in this chair. I'm liking this chair a lot. I'm feeling the chair. So awesome. And the scratch marks are really good. I like that. I'm glad we have that. And oh my God, it's a chow chow. It's a chow chow panda. I posted on my Instagram the other day, the chow chow panda and puppy. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm crazy. Look at these chairs. Love the chairs, love the rugs. Got some pet food over here. Looks like some newspaper. Little dog, big dog. Chowing down. Oh, it's so adorable. Did we see anything else in that close up just then? Uh, okay, we've got some pet food on the bench there. Very nice, very nice. And skittish. Okay, that's it. Is that a new bed? That's a new bed. It's a new bed, you guys. And look at how the cat's lying down. That's how I sleep. I like so sleep like that. And they respond to music. That's good. Apparently music's very good for pets in real life. Friendly, playful, active. This one's really cute. There's a beach. There is a beach to take your pet to and they can play catch. That sim's like really stunning. That's a pretty cool looking sim. <gasps> I love this. Love, love this. It looks so realistic, but at the same time magical because of the vibrancy. And look at these seagulls. They look so funny when they walk past. Their legs are like, Di -di 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 -di. look at them go. I know we should have looked at the dog then. Uh, also, I really am not a fan of this hair. This is the only hair in the pack that I was like, I don't like this. This should have been a separate headband piece or something. Uh, but I do like that this lady kind of looks like the crazy cat lady. So I guess it works for that character. It's just not very versatile, uh, in my opinion, but okay. So this lady has the crazy cat house. Uh, there's a lot of new objects in here that we can see. We've got the cat scratcher. This cat with the top hat hat is adorable. This outfit is so extra. It's amazing. <laughs> so we've got cat scratching, uh, posts and little things they can play on, uh, a mat here, some toys, the laser. There's a lot of content here that we don't already have in our bag. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and then some cat like decor items. And this is gross. <laughs> I love how that cat looks up. Oh. Uh, and she's like, I want a new pet. So you can merge breeds with the breed mixer. So it's going to give you some interesting outcomes. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
And this, this shows off Create a Pet really, really nicely. One thing I didn't show in my Create a, Pe Create a Pet review video was how you can change the faces. So he's like a raccoon cat. But if you look at the dog mouth and how you can like bring out the teeth and the jaw so there's an underbite, you can give your pets a lot of character. Like I'm so impressed by Create a Pet. And I know a lot of times uh, some viewers who see my content, they're like, oh, she's just saying that because she's sponsored by EA or whatever. I'm never gonna lie to you guys. I have had critical reviews in the past. So do loving. Yeah, this is my honest review of this and Creator Pet's incredible. It really, they've gone beyond with it. It's fantastic. I mean, look how much you can do with it. Let alone the painting option. The paint mode's just insane. Some of you guys were commenting, oh, but why bother putting paint mode in when we can't paint our Sims hair? I mean, be happy that we have it for pets, you guys. Like this could have been just something they stumbled upon and were like, oh my God, this really works well in the game. Let's put it in. Uh, maybe we'll get it for hair later down the track. I don't know, but I say be grateful that we have this because if that wasn't in there, imagine if they're like, oh no, we better not put it in there because everyone will get upset that they can't do it to their Sims hair. That would suck. <laughs> so I'm so glad we have it. That is adorable, by the way. I can't even, and this is crazy. This is so crazy. Uh, and little paw prints on its tummy. This dog here is really stunning. Really, really stunning. And I love the different eye colors. That is creepy. That is very creepy. <laughs> very creepy. I'm getting, oh my God. I was about to say Halloween feels, but look, like owner, like pet, they're exactly the same person. That right here looks like a fitted couch. I feel like you could build some diagonal walls right here around this and turn it into a base seat. I'm feeling that. And look at this, the clown and the clown dog. That is too, that is too good. I just spat, ew, gross. Just look at that animation. That animation is so good. Look at that. That is so, oh my God, look at the puppy and the toddler. Stop, I can't take it. Nice couch, by the way, nice couch. Is that a new aquarium item or is that the one existing one? I think that's new, that's new. And look at the kid playing with the cat. Oh my gosh, it's too much. Fun lamp, a little toy box maybe for your pet stuff. <gasps> new windows, new windows. Loving the new windows, oh my gosh. I feel like I've missed so much in this, so you guys need to tell me what I miss in this trailer breakdown. And this house is goals, and this tree is, is that a tree on a foundation? That's really cool. I might, I might use that idea. But this is amazing, and in case you didn't realize, what is this right here? That is a hexagonal or octagonal roof. Octagonal's eight cents, one, two, three, four. That's an octagonal roof, and thank God, thank the Sim Lord that we finally have octagonal roofs and also these kind of Hampton style roof roofing. Uh, that's definitely new roofing tools to be able to achieve that, that we have not had yet. So there will be new roofing tools in this pack. And look at the, look at the new windows and the new like crossed fencing and uh, oh my gosh, it's too much. I want this lot. I want to live on this lot. A lot. Anyway, you guys, that's the end of the trailer breakdown. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything or what you're excited for. But The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs comes out on November 10th. Oh, I can't wait any longer. It's like another month from now. The wait's gonna be hard. We can do it. Anyway, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you guys soon.